Hello everyone, I'm back and I'm starting with the second layer of my uh, freeform geode and I uh, really have a hard time uh, thinking what I should do in this layer but I'm going to define some areas and uh, what you already see is I'm uh, placing a small glitter line over the green to define that area a little bit more and also give it a little bit of a sparkle and I'm also going to do that uh, in the blue also there a fine uh, glitter line all the way around yeah I like a lot of parts uh, of the first layer so those parts I want to keep yeah so uh, really difficult And also I uh, want some more gold in it, so I'm placing a gold line. And now I'm using the uh, starburst of Lures because the gray I did in the first layer I don't like that much. It's a little bit dull, so I want to uh, have it a little bit lighter. That's why I'm using uh, this color. Yeah, and also uh, added some more fire glass, the gold, and um, I'm uh, using the clear to make sure that they stay in place. So first uh, some clear over the fire glass and around the uh, outer barrier. So I'm not going to add uh, a lot of colors in this layer, only uh, some glitter lines uh, to create a little bit of depth and uh, a lot of clear. Also some clear over the fire glass against the inner barrier. Yes, and I'm very pleased what I have done in the first layer. But then you get, uh, for the next layer, you get a hard time. Because you don't want to overwork it. That it gets too busy. And also in the, in the uh, layers uh, that come next to uh, this one, uh, I want to add some acrylic lines in different layers so that you have also depth uh, with those lines so carefully I'm uh, pushing the clear resin against the glitter line or the gold line that it doesn't flow that much in the clear So also care, uh, carefully uh, pushing the clear against the green uh, glitter line. I used uh, the jade of Artisu again and uh, the cosmic uh, shimmer glitter blitz ocean spray, I think, and a little bit of uh, racy tint pine green mixed together. And then you get this uh, color. But all the colors I've used and the materials I've used are listed uh, in the beginning of this video. So uh, if you want to see it, then you need to go back and look at that slide. Yeah. 
Yes, and I'm very happy with the black because it gives a nice contrast with the rest. Yes, and I'm very curious how it looks when I take it out of the mold because I uh, used uh, a lot of opaque color so it doesn't, uh, the light doesn't shine uh, uh, through that much but yeah, I can make a table of it because then the, it doesn't matter if it doesn't shine through Also there very carefully against uh, the gold line and the blue glitter line. Sorry for my friends bulldogs, they are very noisy. At the end of this video I uh, made an impression of where I live, so and then you see uh, the French Bulldog also. But then you need to wait until the end of this uh, video. And also uh, I made some uh, close-up videos after two hours of drying. So, but that's at the end of this video. But yeah, French Bulldogs are very uh, noisy. They snore a lot. Almost done with the clear. So a little bit over the fire glass, my last uh, clear, last bit of clear. And now I'm uh, using a uh, rather uh, fine uh, glitter of uh, Rayer. I don't know if you know the, the this, but it's a very fine gold glitter. And I'm using it uh, uh, over the fire glass. And that's the last thing I'm going to do in this uh, layer. And then we uh, go to the close-up video after two hours of drying. Yeah, a little bit of heat for the air bubbles and I experienced that you get rid of those air bubbles uh, much better with a torch than with a heat gun. So I'm using the torch. And uh, that's the last thing and then we go to the close-up video. So we are two hours later and it looks like this. I'm happy because uh, it sparkles a lot 
and uh, I've kept uh, the parts that I like and uh, yeah the glitter adds, uh, adds a nice contrast so uh, I like it a lot so after this uh, close-up video some uh, impressions of where I live the garden and uh, you see our French bulldog so if you want to see that then you need to wait but I want to thank you for watching this video and um, if you like my videos then please subscribe to my channel if you have comments then uh, place them under the uh, video and uh, I will get back to you and um, yeah what I'm going to do in the next layer I need to think about but uh, that you will see later So this is our garden, we have a rather large garden with very big plants because we live in a house that is over 80 years old and also the plants are very old so uh, yeah we are, ready, uh, we are really happy to live here It's a very uh, sunny day, it's uh, almost uh, 30 degrees and that's uh, where we, uh, that's our friend's build -up. that is very noisy. That's where we uh, sit. Very nice. And that's the garden again with the apple trees and uh, all kinds of trees. So I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.